Hello Mac Warriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of Mac Warrior Online. Today guys we are playing the Arrow, the Blackjack Hero, because I wanted to play a mech that can punch some holes into the enemy's armor and then just go in with machine guns. And the Arrow can actually do that, so let's go ahead and play that. Now, the Arrow has six uh, ballistic hard points which we filled up with regular machine guns and we have two snub nose PPCs. So we are going down the short range approach. We have a range of about 300 meters on the... 330 of the snub nose PPCs and our machine guns fire at 146 meters. That means that in order to get the machine guns on point we have to be really really close and you know what guys the build is actually pretty pretty risky because I'm running an XL engine. You could do that in a light engine you had to drop some heat sinks for that but at the same rate I wanted to be able to fire my snub nose PPCs a lot and I didn't want to sacrifice the jump jets either so yeah we are going for an XL build. So for me this build is a real challenge, that, that build is something that you have to really think about your positioning, where you want to be, and um, you learn about positioning when playing something like that, because uh, if you're out of position, you will get shot. If you go in alone, you will get shot, and you die. But if you have teammates around, and they attract the fire, and you can just do whatever you want um, by, again, positioning yourself right, it is so much fun to play. Yeah, um, why is the build good, by the way, or why is the build working? Because we have something like a machine gun rate of fire quirk. Uh, there it is. Inner machine gun rough rate of fire of uh, plus five. Hmm. I thought it was higher, actually. Uh, maybe the blackjack got nerfed the last time, or since the last time I played it. I think it was definitely higher. I think it was like 20% or so. But okay, 5% is at least something. And uh, six machine guns are shredding enemies apart anyway. Now, the skill build looks like this. Uh, we have invested into heat management, cooldown, velocity, and uh, range, of course, because again, the more range you have, the you know further you can stay away. And I'm going for double magazine capacity. Although I have to say, maybe it's okay to have one, even none maybe, uh, but I just wanted to be on the safe side. Two tons of ammo with uh, the magazine capacity is, uh, I would say, plenty, so you can have that. I'm not going for any survivability things here because, you know, if I'm getting shot, I'm doing something wrong anyway. Instead, full speed tweak in order to position myself better. Um, and I'm going for a bit of a jump jet skills today, just because with three jump jets and the lift speed and uh, the vent calibration, you can actually jump pretty high on the on the blackjack, and you have a lot of fuel, and that's uh, again pretty cool for making some uh, pop tart shots with the PPCs, just jumping up, getting your projectiles off, and falling down to safety again. That's uh, why I have the jump jet skills today. We have no operation skill because I think the heat management is okay and uh, we have 60% radar deprivation and then double artillery strikes on top of a cool shot, I believe. And that's the build, everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming and if you have that, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing Domination on uh, Solaris City. So that is good because Solaris City is um, a pretty dense map and dense maps make it so that, um, you know, you're close to the enemy, kind of, somewhat, which means that the uh, PPCs that we are running, the snub nose PPCs, are most of the time in uh, quite optimal range. Now, I want to take high ground because, you know what, high ground is good ground and I can try to do some little parkour here because we have a good amount of jump jets. So let's uh, try to get as high as possible and then we can drop on them at some point. So, yeah. Question is, um, where will our assault max be? Because we need to be within their proximity. If we are out alone, the enemies will find us and they will hunt us and then they, they will kill us. And I also will miss my shots. Now it seems that we are going more to the left side, splitting up kind of completely, which I don't like. But maybe we can get some early and quick kills here. Okay, let's go. That's an ivy. Hi, Ivy. Uh, Ivy is pretty damaged already. Okay, bunch of enemies there. I don't want to be here when that, when they uh, come in. I can, um, however, drop artillery on their heads. And we got a kill. That's good. So, UAV here. Just to see if they are coming closer or not. Uh, my artillery. Hit a bunch, actually. Yeah, wow. That was a pretty good opener. Speaking of. Speaking of. That Arctic Wolf. Really, really needs to go. Headshot? Interesting. Another artillery strike. I'm pretty baffled that I did not hit that guy, but it's okay. So we try to flank in on them. Yep, and we're getting there, I guess. Hi, what are you doing there? 
Uh, Ultra 10s. Can I contest Ultra 10s? No, I don't. Actually, let's go. Yeah, I'm in behind him. Behind, I'm behind him. Oh, uh, I'm in front of him. I'm in front of him. Okay, his uh, auto cannons are jammed. I should probably go for center there, but let's get rid of firepower first. And heat management, of course. Uh, now I can only shoot my machine guns. And he's dead. Okay. So, took a lot of damage. As a result. Uh, can we? I really want to go for legs here, honestly. Because assassins actually have quite, quite a good torso. Uh, where they can splash their um, the damage with. Also, heat, heat, heat. Crap. I can't get in here. I cannot do it alone. Only if the assassin is coming back and he's trying to actually fight me. Auto cannons. Okay. Uh, we have. We need to have somebody else to push forward. That's super important. Man, the fight is happening everywhere, basically. Let's go in. Uh, he's focused on me. That's not good. Uh, he's also probably kind of blocked here. So what we do is we go for... Uh, yeah, just the back. We just go for the back here. Mm -hmm. Got it, almost. Careful with the machine guns. And somebody's pushing in front of you. Now, seven and one. Wow, this is uh, escalating so, so hard. Annihilator. Not really the best target I can go for. But he has to die as well, so might as well crit his back and just go for the kill. And then there's this guy here. It's an archer with LRMs. Gonna take his side as well. Okay, there's that. Now we take the other side. Or even the center. And then the cheetah. Did we get it? Wow! <laughs> what a game! Yeah, guys, um, again, I couldn't really engage myself so much. The one on, the one we won, kind of one we won, with the Avenger Jaguar stretched it already. And uh, I could have also died there. I mean, look at my armor. It's quite gun on the side torso. Uh, however, we made it, actually, and um, that is pretty good. So find your spot within the team, have somebody else to tank for you, and then just amplify the damage. You are actually uh, a kill securer, something or somebody that just uh, goes in and shreds the enemy while they are focused on somebody else. We didn't get a kill ourselves, but we had uh, 11 assists and 4 kill most damage dealt with 807 damage done and 3 components destroyed. That was the first round, everybody. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alright, the second game of the day. We are playing Canyon Network. We are playing Domination. Uh, there is shooting coming from the outskirts already. Alright, alright. So what I want to do is I want to use my jump jet and see if we can find some people down there and up there. Yeah, we have some skirmishers already. But I gotta be extremely careful with my positioning here. It might be that I'm uh, catching a PPC or a laser beam in that regard. Or auto cannon fire or anything that uh, just softens my mech up before I can actually return fire. So therefore I just go with my big guys here. We have a mad cat Mark 2 B, the Ducker cat. And uh, we also have a battle master up there. Let's shoot him. Let's get his side torso open and uh, try to uh, spoon him out with the machine guns. One more jump. Bam. That didn't connect. Oh, that's that's weird. That is uh, super weird because I was not. Wait. Let's do it like this. This guy's not focused on me. So try and ruin that. Let's kill him real quick. Um, it's a warhawk. Yeah, I can probably go with them. However, I can also... What is going on here? Uh, my aim is off, or those guys are moving too um, fast. Now I can just uh, harass the... Crowderfract there. Crowderfract it is, actually. You got this under control? Warhawk and stuff? Um, I'm not feeling comfortable anymore. Everybody's in the outskirts. Guys, we are abandoning the circle right now. Keep that in mind. Come back, please. Quickly. Alright. Let's tap out here. Going in with the machine guns. And the PPC. Come on. Get that guy down quickly. Now turn back. Quickly, quickly, quickly. We have two guys in the center under distress. That was not good. That was horrible, actually. Horrible, I say. Yeah, now I'm bound here. In the outskirts. And I cannot push with that mech. Whatsoever. Bravo, please. Bravo, the little battle master. That's the bravo guy. Let's keep shooting him. Piranha in the back. Okay, I'll take care of it. Don't worry about it. Go to the center again. Got him. Second leg. Okay, go for the guy in the back there. Ooh, this is not good. This is double ear PPC Shadowcat. To the center, guys. To the center. It's important. Sun Spider down there. 
Mm, I, I need to go. I need to find another angle. If they decide to focus on... There's the Battle Master. On me, uh, we'll have a problem. Arms. Not good. So, for the moment, I'm gonna go down here and help out against the Bushwhacker. With the machine guns only, because I need to save some heat for engaging the big guy again, which is the Battlemaster. Okay, he is XL, that's good. No, guys in the outskirts. Oh, Kodiak! <laughs> Crap, let's go. We need to run away from this. Too much time with the Bushwhacker here, guys. Come on, get up, get up high again, get up high. Um, there was a shadow cat in the outskirts. I'm not sure if I should go for him, but I think I have to kind of. Oh, it's a cicada now. Wait, there's also a shadow. Yeah, there's also a shadow cat. Damn it. It's too much for me alone. I need to go somewhere else. Give me that cicada. Give it to me. Come on, dude. It's running. Nice job, by the way. Uh, running ER PPCs. So I was hoping that he was running regular PPCs. So um, in order to underrun him and then not getting shot by him, or if I'm getting shot, not getting any damage in return. Ah, those snipers in the outskirts are probably wrecking us now. Mm hmm. I mean, yeah, we, we can probably still do it. If you don't switch target now. Well, actually, you should. Actually, you should. Yeah, let's go for the Kodiak. If we can manage to kill this guy, then maybe. It's still one of the most dangerous targets at the, on the battlefield, but it is 7 and 10. I don't think that this is uh, Arctic Wolf here. Uh, in combination with this Victor. No, the Victor is only running one AC-20. Now it's done. Ah, damn it, we lost it. So, what happened here? My team went away completely from the center. Uh, of course, we got some kills there, but coming back into the center was very difficult for us because all of the enemies were bolt up, uh, bolt up, um, except for like the, the outskirt snipers that were harassing us when we were trying to come in again. And then we shifted towards the harassers, we couldn't really focus our fire to the front line, to the center anymore, and as a result, I think we lost it here. But okay, I mean, Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. That's what the game or how the game goes. We nonetheless got three killing blows. We got four assists. We got uh, two kill damage dealt, 611 damage, and six components destroyed. Now, that is the arrow. The arrow, yeah. With six machine guns, with two snub nose PPCs, and again, the XL engine. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you on the battlefield. Goodbye.